In the 26 years since the Islamic Revolution, this enormous gathering for Friday prayers here at the University of Tehran has become not just a regular religious event, but a political one as well. And though it represents a facet of life here in Iran, it by no means tells the entire story. These are not the images you'd normally associate with the Islamic Republic of Iran. The sounds of a heavy metal band. Guys slamming and jamming on the basketball court. Or even a weekend flea market. This might not be what you'd expect either. Heroin addicts lining up for an innovative methadone treatment and needle exchange program. How big is the drug problem in Iran? Uh, it, it's big because we have 75 million population and a very young one. And we have 2 million number for the drug user. It, it is big and a lot of them use opium. And opium is among a very hard, uh, hard drug. There's also a national AIDS clinic where Frank talk about sex and drugs it takes place every day. The young people, they have got uh, more information about AIDS and then they are afraid about this disease and they come. Iran is a place far more complex than just the political maelstrom currently swirling around it. But at this moment, the politics can't be ignored, like the growing international crisis over Iran's decision to restart their nuclear research program which it says is peaceful just for nuclear power, but which the West fears could lead to the creation of nuclear weapons. Whereas our only intended use of uh, atomic energy is a peaceful one. The European concern is that of the security. That can be solved by a consistent inspection and monitoring of our facilities by the agencies specialists. Also the remarks by newly elected President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, questioning the Holocaust and calling for Israel to be, quote, wiped off the map. There's no doubt that anti-Western feelings are still strong here, especially among religious conservatives. But there is also a growing voice of dissent, young people chafing for more freedom, not afraid to show it. Youngsters are not meddled in politics problems, right. but I, I like, I would like to be an, in politics, politics. You would like your voice to be heard. Yeah. Right? With Iran's recent ban on the performance of Western music, this is one of the few places Amir Tehrani and his band Mine can play their heavy metal songs in his bedroom. But in the rock and roll tradition of youthful rebellion, they've taken their sound underground to outlawed music clubs. When you're playing, uh, it's only the band or, or five or six uh, guys here, I mean, our friends. But uh, in, in that place, we were about uh, 100 and something people, and uh, we were not alone. And they were supporting us, and we would like it. Others are tired of fighting the power, like this university student named Aiden. He's joined the green card lottery and wants to go to the United States, though he admits he doesn't know much about it. You, well, you say that you're in the lottery because you would like to get a green card to America. Mm. But what do you know about America? <laughs> mm, not, not, uh, not much, right? Not much. <laughs> so, so, so why not, do you not, want to go there? I, like, I really like your country. <laughs> Because yeah, like, but, but why? That. In, in films, in like in, in the films, in the film. you know it's not like the films. <laughs> I, I know that, so that was true, not right? While few observers feel these grumblings will lead to any kind of political change soon, especially since Iran just elected one of its most hardline and conservative leaders in decades, but with an estimated 60 percent of the population said to be under 30, these youthful voices may become increasingly hard to ignore. Iran is at a crossroads with the world, both over the nuclear issue and over Israel, but also with its own people over basic freedoms and the predominance of Islam over every aspect of life here. Now what path it takes, whether it continues with a hard line or a more conciliatory approach, may determine whether it becomes a global power or simply remain a daunting regional one. Reporting from the Hot Zone, I'm Kevin Seitz in Tehran, Iran.